Yo, how are going everybody? First of all, I'd like to say blessings and much love and respect to all the people who subscribe to the channel. All the people who supported me means a lot to me because I never expect to have followers, I never expect to have subscribers. And I never expect to have so many views and um, people who are anticipating the release of the next video. So for that, i like to say cheers to you. Much love, much of respect and continue to share, continue to subscribe to everything, continue to like it, um, continue to share your comments. So before we get started, um, today, you know, um, I told you guys that on Wednesdays is market day in my city. So um, I went today to try to get um, some fruits and veggies because I wanted to make some soup. So I said, now nah, I'm going to the meat section today. I'm going to see if I can get something different. So I went over the meat section and um, I bought a really nice, 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 nice kilo of pork. You get me? So with that, I'm going to also put that on the grill, but I'm going to put it in a cast iron pot. And I'm going to basically um, slow cook it, like very slow cook it. So turn it into like pulled pork basically, but it's my version of pulled pork, yeah? So we're going to do that maybe um, for this Sunday's video. But today, um, it's not a fish video today, it's meat. We're doing um, oxtail. Oxtail is one of the most um, consumed meats in our country. Um, it's a big part of our um, culture also because uh, we love oxtail. Um, the only problem with oxtail in our country, just like everywhere else in the world, it's hard to get and it's um, extremely expensive, like very, very expensive. So when I went to the meat market today um, after I bought my pork, um, I asked him, I said, question, um, is it possible to get some oxtail? Because I didn't see it in the front. They have to keep it in the fridge, yeah? So he's like, yeah, we have some. And they went and checked, man. And guys, I'm telling him, man, when I see these pieces of meat came out, man, I was like beyond happy. They get me. So I bought a kilo of that too. And I'm going to cook it differently because normally in Jamaica, we do brown stew. You know, I'm still going to stew it down, but uh, before um, I stew it, we always like to let the pot heat, let the oil heat a little bit in the pot, and then basically we brown the meat for it to get that color. So I want to do something different today. So today I'm going to make jerk, yep, you hear me say it, jerk, brown, stew, oxtail. You understand, because everything for me, I like put it on the grill. Because the grill get out all the excess oil and all of that stuff out of it to get me. And we're not doing it on the gas grill. We're not doing it on the new grill. We're doing it on the big old boy. Eh? We're doing it on that one because I noticed with that one, um, I love the smoke flavor. And worse, I'm going to put some pimento seeds in the fire now too, you know, to get that flavor going. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And for the browning, I'm going to literally make the brownings um, for us, like how we do it in Jamaica. Sorry. So I'm going to um, basically caramelize the, the brown sugar and um, you can either do that in a, a normal pot that you don't use anymore or um, what I like to do, the beans that I'm going to put inside the oxtail, um, I just kept the can. So I just left that lid off, you're going to see later on in the video and I'm going to just use that because after I can just dispose of it. So as I always say, let's get cooking guys. Alright guys, so this is all the ingredients I'm going to use. I don't like to put too much vegetables because I'm also going to add the, um, the llama beans to it. Um, I couldn't get the butter beans. I'm still waiting on my Caribbean stuff to be delivered to me. I'm finally getting all my right Caribbean stuff, all my right spices. I'm finally getting them. So yeah, the food is going to even be more flavorful when we start delivering in August. So first we have, um, I forgot the name of this pepper. They told me the other day in the, when I went to the market. It's basically a bell pepper, but the flavor is really, really, really good, guys. Like really, really good. I'm going to check the name of it again and I'm going to put it in the description. So it's really good with meat also. So yeah, you definitely need to try this one. And this is, of course, I use one habanero pepper or scotch bonnet, um, and red bell pepper, um, onion, garlic, scallion and now i'm going to go over there and i'm going to go cut my thyme i have my fresh thyme over there so i'm going to get my fresh thyme and of course you know we have the good pimento can't cook without the pimento and the brown sugar is what i'm going to use to make the browning a little bit of olive oil a little bit of ketchup and that's it so let's start putting everything together and let's get cooking
Alright guys, we have to change the location now because it looks like Mr. Rain decides he won't come show him like a face today. But we don't make that stop us. So now as you can see the, the can, it's on the, on the little one burner. It, it's heated already. Now I'm going to add the sugar to it. And I'm going to add one tablespoon of my little molasses here. And then we're just going to keep stirring. I'm using a chopstick to stir it because as I said everything I'm just going to throw it away after. So let's begin. So there you have the sugar now guys, you can actually see that it start melting away. This is the best part of it, yeah? And the smell, oh man, the smell is so sweet man, I love the now smell. Now we're going to start adding in the little water. Alright guys, so here is the ox steel, fully marinated. You see that brown rich color that it has so now we're going to put it on the grill for a couple minutes um just for it to get that um that that normally when you put it in the pot with the oil you do it to brown the meat so it keeps that consistent brown color and now i'm going to do it i'm trying something new i'm doing it on the grill as i explained so here it is and now we're going to start loading around the grill there you have it guys load it onto the grill now we'll just close it down and we're going to come keep turning it just until it looks like it get the brown look all the way around then we're going to transfer it into the cast iron that is going to be on this grill because i'm putting the cast iron pot it's made for this grill this, this is already heated and ready so i'm going to put the pot here now and let the pot start heating then we're going to transfer with the vegetables and everything so trust me man stay tuned you're going to love how this comes out yeah and i know for a fact that you're going to, you're going to taste it through your phone you're going to taste it through any device that they have i promise you that all right so now we're going to add some oil So we don't want it to be sticking, yeah? So now we'll add the oil, and this is what I was telling you about that I like to do with my garlic. So now I'm just gonna drop the garlic just like this here. Oop, just drop it in the oil. Everything. Over here, as you can see, this is the sauce. This is the sauce that I made to put on top of the oxtail now. So I'm gonna start putting in the oxtail inside the oil with the garlic. I'm not taking out the garlic, I'm gonna leave it inside. And then I'm gonna pour the sauce on it with a little bit of water cause we don't waste anything. Always add the water, just a little water to the mix mixing bowl. Sorry guys, you know I'm anxious when it comes to cooking. So I'm going to add a little bit of water to the sauce after and then we're gonna pour it inside the pot also and then just leave it alone and just let the heat do its thing. Stop. <laughs> guys so she here steaming up now so let's lift it up and see what's going on oh my god oh look at that yes this is it mm -hmm. yeah man ox steel yeah guys look at that man oh god damn mm. all for me yeah just added the beans just now and add an entire here habanero pepper because it's going to flavor the entire meal yeah it's a thing that we like to do in jamaica when we're cooking we like to add a habanero to it or a scotch bonnet pepper and just let it cook down you get me like let it soak down in the in the in the meat and the flavor trust me and the smell everything change like 
I don't even know if I describe it in a man because I just want to grab a piece of this right now and eat it, but you know, we're just trying to finish it up properly now. So, another 20 minutes and she'll be ready. So, this is my jerk stew <laughs> oxtail mix that I did, yeah? Ready, everybody? This is the finale. There she is, everybody. Oh, gosh, look at that. Mm. Yeah, man. This is it, man. My Jamaicans out there, we understand what's going on now. You get me? Yes, everybody. So, thanks again for subscribing to Yadis Kitchen. Thanks for the support. Thanks for all the likes on the videos. Thanks for the views. There's a lot more to come. And trust me, when I say a lot more, I mean a lot more. This recipe would also be added to my cookbook. And I'm trying to see if I can get my cookbook ready by October. So make sure all of you subscribers out there, when I post that link to purchase that cookbook, go grab your copy. All right? I'm out. Stay tuned.